So the mindfulness and self-care um, sessions that we're offering here at Peter Mac are really, um, I would say, introductory sessions for people to get learn about some of the concepts of mindfulness, but basically experience it. So we do lots of different um, practices, to little meditation practices, walking, sitting, moving practices, um, to show people the more formal way that we can learn how to um, regulate our attention and our emotions. And during the mindfulness of self-care was an opportunity to think, how, how can I look after myself better so I can then be this um, a nicer person rather than this uh, frazzled, you know, very tense person who has multiple caring demands. Sometimes it's easier to describe mindfulness by what its opposite is. So much of the time in our lives, we live our lives in a fairly distracted way. We're not actually paying attention to what we're doing. We're often leaning forward into our lives, worrying about things that are going to happen ahead of us, uh, getting caught up in um, fantasies or rehearsing what we might want to be saying with things going on ahead in our lives. One way to become more mindfully um, aware is to avail ourselves of the senses, the five senses. They're a really great way to be able to anchor your attention in a really simple way at any time in the day with whatever we're doing. And um, perhaps practicing that routinely, like picking one activity in a day that you might just, uh, just really decide, I'm going to just be present and pay attention in a friendly, interested way to my experience, as though I'm doing it almost for the first time ever. So that might be in the shower. I'm really, like a lot of the time when we're having a shower, where are our minds? They're off elsewhere, thinking, planning, daydreaming, all those sorts of things. So just for these few moments, even the first half of the shower, just be present to the sounds of the water, the, the feel of soap on your body, the feel of water running over your body and your feet being connected to the tiles. Perhaps the tiles are cold when you start and then they warm up as you move on. Um, just really attending in to all, to all the, the senses and being, being present and use it as a bit of an experiment and decide for yourself if that offers you something just to show up and be present to the simple things as opposed to being elsewhere. So training the mind to be present for the little things. Sitting and having a cup of tea, the whole actions of having a cup of tea, making it, choosing the tea, pouring it into the cup, holding the china, sipping it, feeling a warmth in your mouth, the scent, putting the cup down, being present to all of those, those motions as best you can. And most people when they start doing this, they realise, oh, that was actually kind of cool. Just, and I never do that. Normally I'm having a cup of tea and I'm eating this and I'm talking to somebody, I'm watching the TV or, you know, I'm, so just to, to teach people just to do one thing at a time, be simple, be present, show up for it and, and be curious about it. Decide for yourself what that has to offer you. Usually there's something really rich and simple in just being present for those ordinary moments of the day if we remember and intend to do it.